Tudor women had very few rights. They were expected to marry and they would then become effectively the property of their husbands. They're seen as potentially immoral. They're seen as not as clever as men. They're seen as hysterical, not very capable. Life as a Tudor woman was difficult at the best of times, but when you're married to a tyrant king, it can be so much worse. This is the beginning of the end. He wanted rid of her. Divorced, beheaded and died. Divorced, beheaded, survived. Some are painted as villains, some victors, others victims. It's very difficult to state whether Henry VIII truly loved any of his wives. But ultimately, I think Henry only had room to love one person, and that was himself. <laughs>